One of the misconceptions about ancient people is that they carved everything in stone, especially their inscriptions. The Maya wrote on everything but stone. I mean, of course, they made many, many inscriptions in stone, but they also made books and they also painted vases and things like that. And what we forget is that they had paper. This is a piece of, of uh, tapa cloth made by uh, Polynesian peoples in Tonga. And you can see the edge of it here that I'm putting my finger underneath, and you can see the texture of it. It's made by beating the bark of the fig tree. And the, uh, the banyan is a kind of fig, and that is the uh, favorite material from which they make this uh, tapa. Uh, the Maya had this kind of paper, too. And this is the tool that the Maya used to make this paper out of the bark. It's, uh, it's called a bark beater. It's got a groove around the outside. It's smooth on one side and thinly grooved on the front side. And they would um, wrap a stick around this, make a handle that was long, and they would beat the paper on a wooden anvil. And that causes the fibers of the bark to spread. And you can make tapa from uh, bark of your ficus benjamina if you want to, uh, just by hammering it like this. But uh, the, the grooves on the, on the front side probably helped to kind of spread and soften the, uh, the fibers. And then they would uh, polish it with the other side. You either polish it like this, maybe even hammer it as well. But this is a Maya-style bark beater, and this is the bark paper that they used.